Hello everyone and welcome back to our tour of the MetaQuest device. Today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite apps, Meta Horizons Workrooms. This is an amazing little app. To get started, you'll need to have this app downloaded on your Quest device. And on your desktop, you will need to have the Meta Horizons Remote Desktop app installed. At Broward College, the app is approved. You can have it installed on your work computer. And you need both of these apps so that you can use the Meta Horizon Workrooms to its fullest capabilities. Let's click on it and get started. All right, so here we are. We have joined the Meta Horizon Workplace. This is your personal office. Looks beautiful. It's a mountaintop office. Looking around, you can see the beautiful trees and the lake. Nice, beautiful sounds of nature in your ears. Just a very beautiful environment to be working in, very relaxing. You can almost feel the cool mountain breeze on your skin. At this point, we're in what's called immersive mode. Everything around us is virtual, nothing is real. So let's take a look at our menu bar. The first thing we're going to want to do is adjust our desktop. So right now, this is my desk in the MetaQuest, and my hands are actually on my physical desk. I can feel my keyboard. It's right here in my hands, but you can't see it. So what we have to do first is tell the MetaQuest where my desk is and where my keyboard is so that the MetaQuest can open a window into the real world so I can see my physical keyboard. To do that, you click on the settings menu. Now, it could be when you come into this world, you could be prompted to do this by the MetaQuest because the MetaQuest will recognize this in a different environment and prompts you to set your keyboard uh, in your desk. But right now, I'm going to have to hit this button to set it because it didn't pop up. No big deal. Account, avatar, desk. You want to choose desk and then hit reset. And when you do that, you get this cool little blue holographic thing. Now what this is, is it's telling the MetaQuest the height of your desk and what opening to give you for your keyboard. So there's a setting inside of your office that you can click on and it will open up this window of your desk, revealing your keyboard and whatever else happens to be in this window. Once you've got this blue line set where you want it, you click continue. Now, how am I moving this hologram? I'm holding on to the grip buttons. Set it down there. And when you're happy with it, hit confirm. But before we go, take a look at my two monitors here. These are my two physical monitors in my office. These monitors are completely unplugged from my computer. My computer is not plugged into them. You can see my Apple computer right in front of me. These monitors are not connected. That's going to be, be important in a minute when I show you something very cool. Click okay. Confirm. Now, we've set our desk. Our keyboard is right here, but we're still in immersive mode. So let's click on this, the pass-through button, and click on Desk Pass-Through. There you go. So now the MetaQuest opened up a window for me to see my physical keyboard in front of me. There's also another full pass-through mode. If someone comes into your office or you need to answer the phone or whatever, you can come into this uh, mode and you can see your entire physical space. But I like to be in desk pass-through mode. Now that I've placed my keyboard window and I'm in this nice, relaxing, calm environment, how do I become productive while I'm here? Very simple. Look down at the menu bar. Click on computer, and then this is my computer right here. This is why you need the remote, the Meta Horizon remote desktop app. The remote desktop app allows you to connect your MetaQuest to your computer. So here's my computer right here. Let me click on it. And there is my computer window. I have Word open at the moment. Now, if you want to use your computer, you have to put down the Meta controllers. You can't use your Meta controllers and your computer. You have to grab your mouse and use your keyboard. So as you can see, you know, I'm moving the mouse around. There's not a lot of lag. In fact, I'm going to go out on a limb and say there's no lag at the moment. This is working very seamlessly. So let me type something. Hello world. And you know, let's make it big so you guys can see it. And let's make it bold. Why not? There you go. Hello, world. 
So that's really neat. So now I have a, a nice big monitor in my workspace to work with, which I think is, is really, really cool. But what I really like to have is more than one monitor, because look, I have windows stacked up on top of each other, right? This is no good. I need to have more monitors. So to do that, click on the, grab your meta controller and click on the computer and click plus. And the MetaQuest, without having a physical monitor, will add a second monitor. This is a completely 100% virtual monitor that happened to open with iMovie in it. So I was working on a, a movie project for the XR Institute. So here you go. Now I have two monitors, one over here and one over here. And of course, your the astute observer will notice there's another plus button right here. So maybe I can have a third monitor. So now I have one, two, three monitors at my disposal on my desktop. And they're just taking a second to load up, but they will here in a second. There we go. The cool thing about this is these are usable monitors and they're all connected. Let's say I wanted to take my mouse from here and go over here. There we go. What if I want to go all the way over here? There you go. Oh, wait now, does that mean I can take this window and move it over to here? Yes, it does. Look at that. And my iMovie project is on the right hand monitor. I can also move this document over here. Hello world. There we go. So now I have three usable connected monitors in my MetaQuest that I can use. I can work on a project over here in iMovie. See, it's, it's workable, it's working, see? Or I can type in here, hello world. Or I can come over here and do some web searching to find data and information. And oh, let's, you know, close this window so we don't have to look at it anymore. And there you go. This is a very nice, productive office. You could do quite a bit of work in here. In fact, I spent about two hours in here one day uh, working away. And eventually you forget where you are. You just forget that you're in VR and you just work away. This is one of the nicest tools, I think, at our disposal with Meta. This is not all you can do with this app. Right now I'm in my personal office, but there's more. This app can actually have more people in one room. So instead of meeting in your virtual office, you'll meet in a virtual meeting room. And that is a topic for another video. Hope you found this video helpful, guys. If you did, please slap that follow button, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below. And you know what? I'll see you guys in VR. Bye for now.